I'm Foxy and welcome to Industries of Titan, which is a city builder simulation game which is set in space. It's kind of like a space gold rush where we've just inhabited the ability to go to Titan, which is a moon in Saturn, it's a real place, and there's this gold rush that companies are trying to get into and get as much money as they can. So to give you an example, if this, if this was to happen in real life, um, we could actually get to Titan. This would be like a multi, multi, multi trillion dollar thing. It's really important that companies get in there and they establish a foothold and a presence. So you are a founder, you join one of the companies and it's your job to sit there and represent that company and do as best as you can to dominate essentially. Um, so let's go straight into that. So in this first episode, I'm going to be making a let's, a let's play a playthrough. Um, there's going to be a little bit of talking because I've kind of been wrapping my head around the mechanics of the game. I've only just really started, but I want to explain everything first and then play it. So I'm going to put in timestamps, so if you want to skip all that, by all means. If you're looking to understand the game better, then jump into that part. So. In our new game, we start as the Landfallers. I'm going to go as, a, as the most basic standard startup that I can uh, start that I can think of. So the Landfallers have one headquarters, eight employees, minerals and isotopes. There's your basic resources, credits. That's your money. Influence is like kind of what you spend to expand your territory, and a three by three territory is kind of like a nine square. So as the Titan Gold Rush ramped up, many startups and corporations from Earth, Mars, and the asteroid belt have scrambled to snap up ruin-rich land and start their own urban businesses. The Landfallers faction, faction sorry, is a swirling, leaderless group of striving hopefuls from across the system. They're people who dreamed big and have probably have tasted failure. They also share a common hypercapitalist culture. Landfallers are motivated by their perilous position and the powerful rewards of success. Every once in a while, these ventures can be incredibly successful. A few are already on their way to becoming full-fledged factions on Titan. Will you be the one who leads them to system dominance? I believe so, sir, mister, miss, whatever, whoever you are, whoever you are, whatever these things are, I don't know what they mean, but we're transmitting. This is the most basic style we can have, it's recommended, so let's just go into that. What do we have here? So, corporation, logo, we're going to pick the giant looking crosshair, Meta March Associates. They're gonna be called Freedom Ventures. Yeah, I should be called Fox Ventures. Nah, I want Freedom Fox. Wait. We we'll go with Freedom. All right, it takes about two months to climatize to the overwhelming odor of Titan's atmosphere, but it's impossible to really get used to that burning feeling in your lungs. That's horrible. about that mess madam ma'am person I'll be doing more than living up to your expectations all right so this is gonna be a little bit explanation heavy so I will add in timestamps so to explain this little setup here firstly we have a little blue square this is the territory we can we can control so me being the player so I've accessed all this I can build here I can do whatever I want this yellow territory right here is council land yellow territory means I can click on this I can use my influence so this little purple uh, resource up here I can claim it and I can expand my blue territory to what I can control so that out of the way let's start on top left influence you mainly use influence for expanding your territory or expanding your population which I'll get into later civilians I'll get into once we get to uh, residential so civilians are what you use to get income money your main workforce is going to be your employees and if you click on this you can go to your kind of like your resource management or your personnel management HR management whatever you want to call it and you can prioritize which jobs you want to do so at the moment, moving resources is pretty important. I have nothing to construct. I have nothing to repair, sorry. Constructions is important. Dismantling is not important. So let's have construct, move, ruins, and processing. Right, cool. Ship management. We don't have any ships just yet. That's more for military or combat. Off-world migration. This is how you increase your population, but we need to have, have artifacts to do that. So we'll do that in probably about 5-10 minutes. This is going to be your advisors. This is going to help you with different tasks. You can call them. I've never actually called one before. Uh, so this is credits, it's kind of like your money, so you need to have civilians uh, working at a job station to make money. So that's civilians, not, no, that's citizens, sorry, not employees. That's very different. They're, they're two different things. Um, resources, so this is like your minerals and your isotopes. So this is really important. In this game, you can process your units at so T1, T2, T3. So tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. If you hover your mouse, I have tier 1 count 
five times one equals construction units. So I have five units. If I was to have five T2 units, I'd actually have 25 total construction units. So if I was to have five T3 units, I'd have 75. No, five times five, 125. So it's really important in this episode, I'm gonna to look to try and get some T3 mineral and some T3 isotopes as quickly as we can. But to do that, you're actually gonna be producing waste. Waste is something that comes up whenever you do almost anything in the game. So you need to get rid of waste by burning it, which is important, but it's very, um, as a, creates pollution artifact is how we we get it's how we turn employees you no know, citizens into employees so citizens here citizens make money employees are your workforce you need as many employees and citizens as you can but you kind of have to balance it now oh, sorry what do we have here da -da -da -da, freedom ventures grids this is power grids this is your energy which is use of power fuel so fuel you take gas from the air you turn it into fuel you burn that fuel and you create power it's gonna be really important as well sleep speaking of the game we have our overlays over here territory energy grid, transportation, pollution, zethane, which is gas, and this is, what is this, population? Population work, okay, we don't really have anything going just yet, so first thing we want to do, empty plot over here, we want to go to these ruins, and we want to survey them. So I'm just going to use the shortcut, press V over here, okay, I'm going to unpause the game, and now that we have our surveying going, we want to go into our headquarters, All right, so when it comes to your minerals, a general rule of thumb, uh, minerals are used to build buildings inside, Isotopes are used to build like buildings outside. So what should I say? So it says right here. So isotopes are used to construct high-end buildings. So this is a building. This is a building, right? But once you go into the building, you're generally be using minerals. Okay. So let's go to this. Auto currency. So we have at the moment five minerals. Why are we not doing anything? Okay, we're still walking across. Speed up the game a little bit. So once I survey these, slow down. We can either get Resources, artifacts, or discover. Nine times out of ten, you want resources or artifacts. You'll probably want to do discover later on. So you give me eleven, eight, three, three. As you can see, you can you can only do one or the other. So over here, I definitely want to do artifacts because you're going to give me three. All right? Over here, eleven minerals, twelve minerals, six waste. You don't give. Okay, let's do this one right here. 11, 3, 7, 6, salvage you, salvage you, and salvage you. Awesome. So in terms of salvaging, we only have room for 12. So as you can see, under global storage, it has max capacity 12. We need to increase that. Storage container. Let's do this. Add a storage container. Add some waste receptacles. Now we're going to want to increase our fuel. So now we need to start working on our energy. So you can hold up to 54 storage, which is perfect. So where is our isotopes? Nope, we want to increase our fuel lab. We need two more minerals. So let's speed this up a little bit. Now we got fuel lab. So you're going to be able to generate fuel. Next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make a fuel generator. It costs 20 minerals. You're a bit expensive. Okay, so 20 minerals is ready. Make our generator right here. So now, next thing I want to do is connect these two. So you make fuel, you make power, but you you have to be powered. Sorry. So I actually have to make a relay to connect these two buildings. All right, so the relay will connect everything in this area to each other to get to power. So once you're finished, now you're turned on. Okay, now I'm making nine energy and plus two fuel. We're not actually storing anything because we don't have any storage for these two. So what we're gonna need to do now is figure out how we're gonna use this plus two fuel. So let's keep using our fuel. You use one fuel, you use two. So I can build two of these generators right here, these smaller generators. So if I build one there, I can maybe squeeze another one here. Perfect. That should use all my fuel and I should be making just a lot of power. Okay, we have 16 and 0. So now we need to look at working on expanding out here. So I should have been surveying all these. We don't have any more this. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is work on building some more buildings while we wait. 
So in terms of factories, we're going to want to build a pylon in this direction. So pylon is your energy, factories is where you build uh, your buildings. So let's look at what we have. 4, 14, do we need that? 3 artifacts, 5 minerals, 7, 32, okay, useful. We'll grab that as well. So now let's look at our methane, our zethane, sorry. So zethane is gas. So you want to build your zethane ideally next to these little sinkholes right here, which is kind of like a permanent source of zethane. Otherwise, you're going to be passively taking gas from this area right here. So this little building here, this fuel lab is actually taking zethane from the surrounding area in this area right here. So I'm going to need a lot of power. I'm going to need more buildings. So we're going to build another zethane factory right here to increase our power. Before we do that, we're going to want to build another factory to increase our production. So let me put this factory right here. Yes, claim you, extract you. Build our factory right here. We need to build our power. Let's compare our factory right. Actually, no. Cancel this. Sorry, friends. Put the power here. Put the factory there. Let me speed this up a little bit. Triple speed it. What do we have now? You two are full. How are you full? Oh, you're holding isotopes. Oh, I see. Can I go to the medium storage? I cannot. That's, um, that makes me sad. Okay, let me just use some of these isotopes. Put you there. I need another one there and another one there. Awesome, the isotopes are ready. That's just making more space. Perfect, now that I have 10, let's build this. Got a medium container right there. Let's start to build our production. So for our resources, we're gonna need two factories. So first things first, let's build one right there. Claim you. Start to grab you. So we have our energy grids out here. So now, this is really important. For energy, whoa, why are we using no? Where's our spare energy? Do you use power? Energy use, energy stored. Oh no, you don't. Okay, sorry. So this building right here, this is producing power. It's not actually exporting power, which is really important. So what I need to do is go to here. I have a relay so I can connect this generator right there. That's the relay right there. And we need to build a bridge. A bridge exports the power. It connects it to the external grid. So this power is a closed system that's only creating power for itself. Once this bridge is finished, this power now connects to all these grids right here. So now it's all connected to grid one. So now everything within this grid has access to this plus 12 power. So what I'm gonna build right here is my tier one uh, for minerals. So, we need to build this building right here. Mineral processor. Build an input of minerals. So I want you to put my minerals into the processor. I want you to output tier 2 minerals. I need some employees to work at this thing to make it actually function. And this is going to collect waste as a byproduct. So I need, you, I need you to collect the waste. And these little receptors right here. Now, remember the bridges again? The bridge is going to connect you to the external power. So let's put a bridge right here. And I'm going to need relays actually power these buildings. So that's a little bit expensive. But after that's all built, this is plus 12 power, because this bridge is not built yet. So we have some more building to do. We'll probably scavenge some more stuff. Plus 20. Plus 19, oh, you're useful. Scavenge you. Now let's work on our residential area. Let's 
distract you as well. So we're, we're starting to run out of uh, waste. Hello? Oh, you're not connected. Uh, I'm sorry. There you go. Let's make construction my highest priority. It is my highest priority. Okay, now you... There we go. Now you're working. So now you should be making... T2 units very soon. I want to wait for it. So you can kind of see it first hand. Are you working or are you not working? You're there. Okay, now there it is. That's the... What was that? Okay, you're not. You're gonna be working. I'll, I'll, I'll trust you. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I know I need it to work before I start building my residential area. My friends, what's taking so long? Another factory down there. There we go. Now it's working. Cool. So now that you're online, let's start to build my residential area. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have a habitat pod. Perfect. Let's build a bunch of you. Each of you takes power, so we don't want to build too many. Build one of you. One of you. We need a bridge to connect you to power. Where's our bridge? Right here. And a small relay to connect all of you. You have a little bit of space, so let's put in a waste receptor. Can you move? Please? Sir? Are you, ser are you serious? Ugh, whatever. I oh, know the waste is full, I need it. Let's go over here. Let's put some waste right there. Waste receptor. Are you on? Oh, that's really awkward. Another waste receptor right here. Are we using the T2? Oh, we are. Why am I... Oh, I accidentally... No, I'm stupid. There we go. Much better. Alright, on this side. So, the same thing we've done with our T1 uh, minerals. We need to do with T T1 uh, isotopes. Let's go to L1 processor. Let's do isotope input. Output. That was stupid. Employees and waste. Then we're going to need a bridge. Next to the bridge, we're going to need a relay. And that should be everything connected, I hope. It's going to eat a little bit more power. Build another factory right there to make more power. So let's go and claim you get you out of the way. We have seven artifacts. We can start to work on our population now. So to increase our civilians, which is how you actually make money, let's go to off-world. Unlock, unlock our shipping docks. So now we can get new civilians. Four civilians and no resources. Um, you know what? That's actually not bad. Because I don't grab any waste. Actually, no. Let's try and find someone who brings resources. Okay, we're not having any resources. Not enough living space. That was stupid. I should have just taken the four. Because now you guys aren't going really to do anything for me. Habitat pod. You use one energy, you take two minerals. Let's build two more of these. Actually, now let's turn you off. We have one energy left. Go over to here. Store some waste. Go over to here. Let's 
throw some more waste. Awesome. Now we need to increase our power, so we're gonna need another one of these factories. Once you're moved out of the way, let's go to you and call you Mineral01. We name you to Isotopes01. And you're gonna be residential. You're being built for energy. T2 is being made. Any more clones? Oh, more, not clones. Here you go. Perfect. I need to start working on getting a way to get rid of my waste and starting to pile up. So, let's go to a smokestack. It's going to cost 500, I mean 100 isotopes, minerals. Before I do that, I want to make the actual T3 um, isotopes. Because it's only going to cost 4 units of T3. Or it's going to cost like 20 units of T2, which is just way too expensive. So before we can make that T2, we need to expand our power. So let's go into here. Go to Fuel Lab. Into a generator. A large generator. Build it this way, I think. So you're going to create 9, you're going to use 3, you're going to use another, that's 4. Right, let's make a bridge right there. Make a relay right there. And that's not crossing the halfway line, so we should be able to mimic this on the other side. This should be enough power to get everything running, for now. Okay, why is it not working? You guys are making a little bit of money. I'm gonna need a conversion place. So if you go there, I should be able to fit a conversion right there. To turn you off for now, you take four energy. You just, I just need you built. We're not using any T2 units, why not? Are you supplying energy? What are you, what's wrong with you? You're grid 2. You're grid 1. Oh, you don't reach. There's no way. I've been lied to. That, that thing doesn't reach there? Can it reach if it's there? <gasps> That's rude. That is, okay, it's awkward, my bad. I thought I'd built like the perfect setup, but it's just not working at all. Now you're a good one. Hello? You, my friend? No, 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 this, this, this one. You're getting C2? Awesome. Okay, now let's save up and build for this thing. Actually, no, let's connect you two first. So, one cool feature of this game is that, at the moment, this area right here, this is very set, right? We can increase this in two ways. We can either A, upgrade the building, which will give us access to a second floor, I'm pretty sure, or we can B, click on connect. This will connect these two buildings together, and it will actually add the tile space, and give us an extra 20. So, 100 tiles plus 100 gives us an extra 20. Okay, quick maths, don't ask how it works, it just works. And my only concern is that I actually wanted to upgrade Isotopes 1 and Isotopes 2 first. Alright, so Isotopes 2, we have three of them. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit of time. Hmm, because you, I want Isotopes 2 to be on this side, and I want you two to upgrade. I don't want you to upgrade. So maybe if I disable it first before I upgrade it? I don't know if that'll work. Giving 20 energy. But I don't want to spend any of the isotopes yet. Other oh, minerals, sorry. Okay, now that you're working. 
Cool, can you start working again? Thank you. Now we need to make our L2 processor. This is how you make T3 units. So we go over here. Let's give you a bit of space. Let's wait for this to come back. I want you to add minerals on this side. I want you to have an output once you make a little bit more. Did we slow down? We did slow down. Our waist is slowly starting to creep up. We have the spare energy, so we should be able to turn you on now. But you need to be connected to a relay. Actually, now let's turn you off. No, 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 we can't. We need you. I want, I want 10 to 10 employees. Because it looks, looks like we're kind of like... Our hands are spread a little bit thin. Construction, move resources. I don't want to put prioritizing over moving resources. Processing, sorry. Let's go back over here. Turn one civilian into an employee. You generate a lot of waste. Yeah, nice. Come back down here. Let's make an output. Go to employee module, which is this one right here. And I have my waste on this side and this side. Now we just have to connect you to power with a relay. I don't know if that really does the job. Just make small relays. Wait, can I connect like waste modules to each other? Is that a thing? Like, see how it's. Can I can I do this? No, it has to be connected. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so now we should start to make T three units. Hopefully. Cool. So you still have the ability to connect. Connects dis connect disables both buildings until completely. Yeah. I want to make sure that you don't connect to the wrong building. I don't know how to ensure that. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have made you up here. Let's turn you back on. So now you need one more thing, one more thing, you need a storage container. First. Hmm, it's gonna waste nine isotopes. Oh, I'm so triggered. I'm not triggered. I don't like using the word triggered. There we go. Now we're starting to get some proper resources. Now we can start to scale. Energy's at plus seven. 
Okay, so I'm gonna upgrade you. Right? But I'm gonna connect you two. Okay, that, that's just to make triple sure that you don't um infect the wrong building. But instead of building more energy here, I'm just gonna build like a lot of batteries on level two. Alright, problem solved. Problem solved, my friends. We are we're, we're doing we're doing something. Okay, let's make you work one more time. We have no more waste. Okay, so that is about Q for us to build a our way to get rid of waste. So our residential area will be this corner right here. So which means we should be getting our waste. Let's put it over in this corner over here. No, not the. Let's hide it somewhere near the spaceport. Do I really care if it's near the spaceport? Not really. What about down here? Because it's going to take a little bit of time to get rid of you. I can hide it in this corner. That's going to take a bit of time as well. Okay, we are going to figure out where we're going to put you. I can put you there. Actually, I can just put you... I can just claim you there and run straight across. Okay, so where is it? Okay, we don't want it to be here. We don't want it to be here. We can put it there, actually. That's not a... Okay, let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's go back to territory. Let's claim you. It's going to take time to transport to our waste. But if it's away from residential, that's what matters the most. So it should be near our industrial area, which is right here. Correct? Because I need a factory here to build methane. It's going to be there. And we're going to build another factory. One, two, three. Another factory there. So that means this area is free to make this smokestack, which would be right next to this. Yes? Generates pollution. Okay, I can live with pollution. Okay, so we, we, we know what we're doing. In the next episode, we're going to be building our smokestack right, right here. We can't afford to build it just yet because we don't have the uh, energy. The smokestack is going to start to burn our waste. Which is really important because the waste is going to pile up and it's going to slow us down. Um, we're going to look, look to build our T3 isotopes. We already have our T1 isotopes up and running, so we can start to afford these things now. Um, these more advanced buildings. We're going to expand our residential area in the next episode. And we should be looking at our building our defenses in time for this threat. So that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope some of this has made sense. Um, please let me know if it hasn't. Uh, this, is, this probably can do a bit better with explaining. We have some space here which we can use, but i just put batteries there or something. I don't really know what to put in this space. Um, I can maybe put another fuel generator. But I probably don't really want to. It's kind of efficient as it is. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Be safe. Be awesome. Our level 2 building looks like this. We go floor 2. We can just have like a gajillion batteries right here. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Anyway, Foxy L out. Let's go to here. Power. Hey, there we go. Alright, take care.